It's safe to say when I first tried Smash Bros for the first time that it would become something that took over my life to a point that as soon as I found a club on campus, I latched on, and now I'm the organizer. So, of course I'd be excited when my favorite video game character of all time gets added to the game roster. But what happens when said favorite character is seen as the best character in the game to a point that it's a problem? To explain the Smash Brothers series to someone who may not necessarily understand or follow the gameplay, the general goal is to knock your opponent off of the stage by dealing damage. Your character's percentage will begin at zero and will increase every time you get hit. And as this number increases, the amount of knockback that you will take will also increase. And when you eventually take enough knockback to pass a blast zone at the edge of the screen, you lose a stock. Doing that twice in the case of Smash 4 will make you win the game. And as easy as that sounds, it's not that simple, as especially at a higher tournament level, there is definitely a different pace. There is what is known as the neutral game, where two people kind of feel each other out by playing slow and using safer moves and moving around each other, and not necessarily directly at your opponent, but to try to read or react to something that your opponent is doing. And then there also is advantage and disadvantage, where in advantage you are able to go for longer strings and longer combos, and you are able to rack up damage on your opponent, but the reverse is true for disadvantage. When you are in disadvantage, your main goal is to take as little damage as possible in order to not let your opponent get that percentage lead, or in the case of some characters like Bayonetta, as we will explain, not get dragged literally to a blast zone to die. And that's the general basic concept of the game. So what happens when you add a character who seems like they can skip that neutral stage and go right into a very heavily disproportionate advantage state and just tack on move after move, damage after damage? A mess. A Bayonetta dominated mess. Or at least, that's what people think will happen and to some extent that is what has started to happen at the end of Smash 4's life cycle. But is it possible to beat Bayonetta? I do think she's beatable. But at an even skill level, like if the same person had the same variance with both their own characters, Bayos would win just because her moveset and her kit is stronger than any other character. I don't think she's ban worthy. I think people still just have to adapt. Like, I play a faster character in the game, so if I can think quick enough and play quick enough, I should be able to have the strength or a uh, chance of winning. But at somebody at or above my skill level, then it's very unlikely that I'll beat them just because their character doesn't give me much of a chance to play. This idea that playing against Bayonetta does not allow you to actually play the game is one that many seem to share, as multiple pro players have talked about getting her banned from the game, effectively removing her presence in tournaments. And that's all fine and good until the hate starts to get worse and it starts to become too much. I think it's perfectly fine to hate the character. Everyone can have their own opinions. Even if you hate it even more than what would be normal, that's fine too, as long as it's not pointed to the players. You can hate the character, and that's perfectly fine, but harassing the players is not very nice or cool at all. She plays a different game. She has a different style to her, because you have to play from behind the whole game. It just makes a local tournament like ours feel different, because it's no longer feels like an even matchup half the time. You're always playing from behind. If they can't take it, that's their problem. Kind of a bad way to put it, but people need to be a little bit thicker-skinned about things. If that's a problem, then they should learn against the character. They should practice fighting it more. And it is stronger than their characters, for sure, probably, but there's still a weakness to everything. People should be able to do what they want. I'd say play your character for your own well-being if you enjoy the character. Don't conform to what everyone else wants you to do. Just because a character's top tier, no one else likes fighting them. Doesn't mean that you can't enjoy playing the character still. I originally recorded a much more dramatic ending to this documentary before realizing through the rest of the process that that's not the direction I want this to go. I don't want this to just be me yelling about how much the community hates me, because truth is, the community doesn't hate me. The community just takes out their hate on my character a little too much. And yeah, it's annoying, and yeah, it bugs me, and yeah, it hurts, but I realized I really just shouldn't let it get to me. And this is where I wanted to take this, is that I've learned the hard way, um, for example, Last week at our last event, I was so overcome with this fear 
that I'd get yelled at and I'd get complained to for my character, that I refused to play Bayonetta. And the question you may be wondering is, did I have fun? No. I had absolutely zero fun because I wasn't playing the character that I liked. I was playing a different one and it just wasn't as enjoyable. So the next question you might have is, am I going to continue to play Bayonetta throughout the last month or so that Smash 4 has? Yes. At this rate, I'm done caring. I've hit a low enough low and turned around and bounced back to a point where I'm not letting myself hit that low again. I'm not going to let myself go, oh, my friends are going to hate me, and then limit myself in tournament and limit my enjoyment of the game. She does have some cool stuff that she can do, like... Um, as shown, she can combo people off the top, or in turn she can take somebody off the side and like drag them across the screen, or she has this move called Witch Time, which slows your opponent down, and then from there you basically admittedly do get to do whatever you want. And so she definitely has her strengths, but she also has her weaknesses, and that's something that people just need to realize, is that she doesn't completely dominate the scene like people think she does. She's super strong, but there's ways to beat her. So. Instead of focusing on complaining, people should just focus on beating her. I think as far as Ultimate is concerned, she's not going to be as strong, so in Ultimate I don't have to worry about the complaining, and hopefully people won't have to feel like they need to complain. Oh, winner is... Baby. Hey, another...